Hi, I am Vijay and this is my video blog series. I know that 3D printing is going through a transformation. I'm going to interview some of our key leaders inside 3D systems and external stakeholders to really understand and learn how this industry is evolving. Please join me to understand the insights about this extraordinary transformation. Hi Chuck, how are you? <laughs> Vijay, how are you doing? I'm doing well. Great. Hey Chuck, I know you invented 3D printing. You know, tell me when did that Eureka moment came in your mind? <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't remember when the Eureka came. I, I remember working, 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 and finally got the first 3D printed part. That was uh, 33 years and a couple of weeks ago. So it's, it's, wow. been, it's been a while. <laughs> So can you tell me what's happening in terms of applications? Right sure, now? sure. The, 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 the reason for the invention, the application, was to uh, uh, quickly make prototype plastic parts. Mm. And so that, that was a big problem back then, uh, especially in the automotive companies and other people that made a lot of mm. injection molded parts. And uh, so that, that was the, what I was looking for. And that was then our first commercial application. I'm sure there are so many other applications, you know, have been developing. So give me some kind of a view of what kind of different applications. <laughs> yeah, well, the first thing, you know, I, 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 I didn't know what all those applications would be, obviously. Sure. So each one's kind of a surprise. Sure. Uh, so uh, it's, it ranges from, uh, you know, healthcare applications, mm. uh, casting patterns, mm. uh, jigs and fixtures. Uh, and of course, the more uh, recent applications have to do with direct manufacturing with uh, 3D printing. You know, of all those applications, which one you think, you know, which resonates with you? Something that <laughs> you feel like, wow, I would have never thought about this. Well, certainly, probably the, the, the most resonance is, is uh, healthcare mm -hmm. solutions. Mm -hmm. Uh, because you know they're very uh, kind of have personal impact on people's lives. What do you think? Where, where are we? Where, are, where is this all going? You know, what, what do you think is the next generation application that you are very excited about? Yeah, well, it's 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 going a lot of places, and then you know, trying to track that, understand uh, the best applications is is uh, is very interesting. But certainly for me. Uh, moving 3D printing into uh, direct manufacturing mm. is uh, probably the next big impact of 3D printing. We've been doing that off and on a little bit as we go along. We're getting better and better at it. And now we're really focusing on that, on that and figuring out how to really do it. You know, I know that in uh, Maddles, it's always, you know, we have a lot of production application, but I hear that, you know, you have something that you're very excited to now <laughs> take it in the plastics, you know, to the production. Yeah, we, we call this our uh, figure four technology. And uh, it's, it's all geared around, you know, a fast printer, automation, good materials, uh, and to make it uh, uh, even competitive with uh, plastic injection molding in, in some cases. Mm. It's like a digital molding machine, a huh? Digital injection molding machine. Wow, <laughs> I am very excited. I think this could really drive you know the companies and their innovation engine because you know, this is all about yeah. the design so the, the designers now can see yeah. uh, complex and uh, custom parts done on our digital molding machine that's right chuck thank you very much thank you, you for your time